In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to integrate each of the supported ad networks in our mobile ads asset. In the description, there will be links for each of the ad networks, which will take you to the part of the video where I integrate that ad network. Set up AdMob, select AdMob in one or more of these drop downs. You'll notice a new AdMob settings box appears at the bottom of the window. Right now it says AdMob is not detected, so let's import the SDK. Head over to the documentation and under AdMob setup, there's a link to where you can download it. So click that and under latest releases, click the Google Mobile Ads Unity package and it'll download. Once it finishes downloading, simply select it and it'll import into Unity. Once it finishes importing, click the Detect SDKs button. Wait for Unity to finish compiling. Once it finishes, you'll notice the AdMob settings now has all of the AdMob configuration values in it. So go ahead and add all your app IDs and unit IDs into these fields. Next, open up the Android manifest located in Plugins, Android. Google Mobile Ads plugin, Android Manifest. Then in the documentation under AdMob Setup, copy and paste this metadata into the application tags. Then copy your AdMob Android app ID to where it says AdMob app ID here. Save. And make sure Google Play Resolver has run by clicking Assets, Play Services Resolver, Android Resolver, Resolve. Wait for this to finish. And once it finishes, you can make Android and iOS builds and have AdMob appear on your device. To set up Ad Colony, simply select Ad Colony in one or more of these drop downs. And you'll notice a new Ad Colony settings window appears. Right now it says it does not detect the SDK, so we need to import the SDK. In the documentation under Ad Colony Setup, there's a link to where you can get the Unity package. Click the link and then find the Ad Colony Unity package. Click that, and then you can click this download button. Once it finishes downloading, import it into Unity. Once Ad Colony has finished importing into your project, click the Detect SDKs button. Wait for Unity to finish compiling. Once Unity finishes, you'll notice Add Colony Settings has all of the settings and the app IDs that you can set. So go ahead and set your Add Colony app IDs and zone IDs into these fields. Once you've finished adding all of your IDs, click Assets, Play Services Resolver, Android Resolver, and then click Resolve. Wait for the Android Resolver to finish. Once it's finished, you can make Android and iOS builds and have Ad Colony ads appear in your game. Add app Lovin. Select app Lovin in one or more of these drop downs. You'll notice a new app Lovin settings box has appeared. Right now it says it does not detect the SDK, so we need to import the app Lovin SDK. Head over to the documentation and you'll find a link to where you can download the SDK. You have to be logged in to app Lovin for this link to take you to this page, so if you're not logged in, log in. Then click this download button and it'll start downloading the app Lovin Unity package. 
Once that's finished downloading, import it into Unity. Once it's finished importing into Unity, click the Detect SDKs button. Wait for Unity to finish compiling. Once it's finished, you'll notice app loading settings is populated with all the settings. So go ahead and add all your app loading IDs. For Android, you need to add the SDK key into the Android manifest, which is located in plugins, Android, Android manifest. Head over to your app or your app loving dashboard, copy the SDK key into this field, your SDK key. And also change this your package name to the package name that you have set in player settings. After that, go over to the documentation and you need to add this activity under the app loading settings into the Android manifest as well. Add it above the metadata tab. Now you need to import the Google Play Services Resolver into your project. So head over to the documentation and under app loving setup. Step six, there is a link to where you can download it. Click this link. Then find the Play Services Resolver Unity package, click that, and then click download. Once it's finished downloading, import it into your project. Once it's finished importing, select Assets, Play Services Resolver, Android Resolver, and Resolve. Wait for it to finish. Once it's finished, you are ready to make Android and iOS builds and have app love and ads appear in your game. So let's set up Chart Boost. Select Chart Boost in one or more of these dropdowns. You'll notice a Chart Boost setting box has appeared. But right now it says it does not detect the SDK, so we need to import the SDK. Head over to the documentation and you'll find a link to where you can download it. Click the link and then click the download button for Unity. Wait for that to download. Once it's finished, unzip it. And then import this Unity package into your project. Once it's finished importing, click the Detect SDKs button. Wait for Unity to finish compiling. Once it's finished, you'll notice that the chart boot settings has been populated, so add your app ID and signature. After that, we're going to replace the Google Play Services Resolver that came with Chart Boost with the one from the Google GitHub account. I've had issues with this Play Services Resolver, so we're just going to replace it. So delete it. Now head over to the documentation and under Chart Boost Setup, step six here, you'll find a link to the Google Play Services Resolver. Click it. And then find the Play Services Resolver Unity package. Click that. And then click this download button. And it will download the Unity package. Once it's done, import the package into Unity. And once it's finished importing, click Assets, Play Services Resolver, Android Resolver, and then click Resolve. Once it's finished, that's it.
You can now make Android and iOS builds and have Chart Boost ads appear in your game. To set up Iron Source, select Iron Source in one or more of these drop downs. You'll notice a new Iron Source settings box has appeared but we need to import the Iron Source SDK first. So head over to the documentation and then under Iron Source Setup, you'll find a link to the download. Click this link and then scroll down and click this Download Unity Plugin button. Once it finishes downloading, import it into Unity. And once it finishes importing the SDK, click the Detect SDKs button. Wait for Unity to finish compiling. Once it's done, you'll notice the Iron Source settings is now populated with all the fields. So add your app IDs and placement IDs into the settings. Once you finish that, uh, go into the Android Manifest located in Plugins, Android, Iron Source, Android Manifest. And we want to remove all of these activities other than the Iron Source. So select all this and remove it. Next, we need to import the Google Play Services Resolver. So head over to the documentation and you'll find a link under Iron Source Setup where to download it. Click that link and find the Play Services Resolver Unity package. Click that and then click this download button. Once the Unity package finishes downloading, import it into Unity. Once it's finished importing, click Assets, Play Services Resolver, Android Resolver, and click Resolve. Wait for this to finish. Once it's done, that's it. You can make an Android and iOS builds and have IM Source ads appear in your game. To set up Mopub, Select MoPub in one or more of these drop downs. You'll notice a MoPub settings box has appeared. But first, we need to import the MoPub SDK. So head over to the documentation and you'll find a link to where you can download it. So click the link. And under the latest releases, select the Mopub Unity package. Wait for it to download and import it into Unity. Once it's finished, click this Detect SDKs button. Wait for Unity to finish compiling. Once it's done, the Mopub settings will be populated with all the fields. So go ahead and set all your unit IDs for Mopub. Once you've added all your IDs, go to Assets, Play Services Resolver, Android Resolver, and then click Resolve. Wait for this to finish. Once it's finished, that's it. You can make Android and iOS builds and have Mopub ads appear in your game. To set up Unity Ads, select Unity Ads in one or more of these drop downs. You'll notice a Unity Ads settings box has appeared, but we need to import and enable Unity Ads SDK. So go to Window and Services. And then click on Ads and Enable Ads. 
Now you want to click this advanced tab and uncheck enable built-in ads extension or it will collide with the SDK we're about to import. Uncheck that, wait for Unity to finish. Once it's done, open the asset stores window. And then search for the Unity monetization package. And download and import this into your project. Once it's finished, go back to the mobile ad settings window and click the detect SDKs button and then wait for Unity to finish compiling. Once it's done, the Unity Add Settings fields will appear, and now you can add your game IDs and placement IDs. Once you've filled out all the fields, you can make an Android and iOS build and have Unity ads appear in your game. Bungle. Select the bungle and one or more of these dropdowns. You'll notice a Bungle settings box has appeared, but first we need to import the Bungle SDK. So head over to the documentation and under Bungle setup, you'll find a link to where you can download it. And then you can click this download Unity plugin. Once it's finished downloading, import it into your project. Once it has finished importing, click the Detect SDKs button and wait for Unity to finish compiling. Once it's finished, Bungle Settings now has all the fields enabled, so go ahead and add all your IDs. Once you've added all your IDs, that's it. You can make Android and iOS builds and have Bungle ads appear in your game.